Hey guys, today we are making a lemon meringue tart, which is one of my favorite things to make in the springtime. They're fairly easy to do, and you can make the whole thing the night before, which is even better. Let me show you how to make it. So the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our crust. So in the bowl of a food processor, we're gonna add a cup and a quarter of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I like to use powdered sugar for this tart dough because I find you'll get a really nice lighter texture with the powdered sugar than regular sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt. You can pulse that up until everything is combined. And then we're slowly gonna add a half a cup of chilled butter that you've diced into cubes, pulsing all the while until a coarse meal forms. Then you're gonna whisk together one egg yolk and two tablespoons of ice water. Then you're gonna add that mixture to your food processor while pulsing. And just keep pulsing away and eventually it'll start to come together as a dough. And you wanna keep going until you get a nice dough ball forming. Then you can take it out, flatten it into a disc, and then wrap it up and refrigerate. Now you do wanna refrigerate this for at least 30 minutes to an hour, just because it will really help with the shrinkage of the dough. If you bake it too soon, your dough starts to shrink and then it can be really hard to blind bake at that point. And then to roll out our dough, we're gonna be using the French style rolling pin from JK Adams that came in my May subscription box. And you'll see how beautifully the dough rolls out and it just becomes so much easier and lighter to use, I find, than a traditional rolling pin. If you're not familiar with the subscription box and you wanna know more about it, we're now taking subscriptions for the July box. So I will leave you a link in the description and you can get caught up. Then you can fit it into your tin, trim those edges, and then you wanna take a fork and pierce the bottom of it just to allow the steam to escape. And because we've been working with this dough and it's probably come up to room temperature, it's a good idea to just pop your tin in the freezer for 30 minutes just to become nice and firm. Then when it is time to bake, you're gonna take your tart tin and then take a piece of parchment paper, put that on top of your tart. And then I like to use baking beads, um, which you can find online, but you could also use dried beans or rice just to weight that paper down. And then we're gonna bake our shell at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes, just until it's set and slightly golden brown. Then you can allow the shell to cool and we'll get to work on the filling. And the filling is super simple to do. So in a large bowl, you're gonna add six egg yolks, a third of a cup of cornstarch, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. You wanna whisk that all together until a nice pale yellow paste forms, and then you can set that aside. Then meanwhile, in a saucepan, you wanna add a cup and a half of water and three quarters cup of sugar. You wanna heat that on medium low just until that sugar dissolves and you have a nice clear liquid. While our sugar is melting, we can prepare our lemon zest and juice. So we're gonna use our Talisman Design Lemon Zester and Reamer, another product that came in the subscription box. And just, you wanna zest the entire lemon. So you usually get about a teaspoon or so. And then you wanna cut the lemon in half, and then you're gonna ream it, and we're looking for a third of a cup of lemon juice. So you may need two lemons to get that much. Then you're gonna go back to your sugar water and you're slowly gonna add just a little bit at first into that egg mixture. So we wanna temper those eggs, make sure we don't scramble them. Then you can add the rest of the sugar water. And then this mixture is gonna go back into your saucepan and you're gonna cook it on medium low, stirring all the while just until it thickens. I think it's best to stir it with a whisk. Just kind of keep it going, keep it moving. And once it starts to thicken up and coat the back of the spoon, you know that it's good to go. And then we're going to add our lemon zest and our lemon juice. And now our filling is all ready to go. So we're gonna pour this filling into our baked pie shell and you just kinda of wanna smooth it out and level it out. And then you can place this in the refrigerator while we prepare the meringue. Then to make the meringue, it's also really easy. All we're gonna do in a saucepan is add a third of a cup of water and one and a half cups of plain white sugar. And you wanna heat that on medium high just until all of that sugar dissolves. And then once it boils for about three to four minutes and becomes syrupy, that's when you wanna take it off. At that point, you wanna set it aside to cool slightly. And then in a bowl of an electric mixer, you're going to add four egg whites and a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. The cream of tartar is gonna help us to stabilize the egg whites, which is a good thing to do so that they don't fall on us. If you can't find cream of tartar, you could also use a half a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Then you're gonna beat this up on high until you start to see nice soft peaks begin to form. And then you're slowly gonna add our sugar syrup just in a steady stream, whipping all the while until they become nice and stiff and glossy. That's what you're going for. And once you reach that stage, you can stop the mixer. Then we're gonna get our pie out of the fridge and we are going to place this beautiful meringue on top. 
and I just pile it all on there. Now, if you wanted to be really decorative, you could also put this in a pastry bag and pipe some nice little dollops, but I don't know. I think there's something really sweet about the rustic approach. <laughs> and then at this stage, I do think it's easier to use a kitchen torch, to be honest. They're not that intimidating, and it is a lot easier to kind of get an even browning with a kitchen torch. But you could also put this tart under the broiler as well. And then once your tart is all nice and golden brown, you can place this in the refrigerator until ready to serve. All right, you guys, I'll see you back here next Saturday with another quick and easy recipe. Until then, bye.